Believe it or not, there is a page where Google lists what it thinks it knows about you. Chris Matizic uh, with ZDNet is here to talk about this very uh, piece of information that Google has, or pieces, I should say, uh, Chris, on all of us. Tell us how you stumbled upon this and what did you find out about yourself? <laughs> I find things out about myself every day, Karen, but this was something special. I'd heard that Google in its fits of sudden transparency has a page where it lists all the details that it claims to know about you, which means that's the basis of how it sells your profile to advertisers. So I expected, wouldn't you expect, that Google pretty much follows you around all day, all night, and knows everything that you do, that you think, that you say. And I expected this, this page to be extremely depressingly accurate, yet it wasn't. It wasn't. What did it find out about you? Karen, how am I going to tell my wife? This is the question that you and I need to discuss because she's convinced that last year we stood in a little vineyard with the vineyard owner as our officiant and a couple of witnesses from a tasting room and we got married. We're sure it happened. <laughs> Google is convinced I'm single. So it, that might be the reason that it's actually constantly providing me with fascinating dating ads. I can only assume. But why Google would think I'm single when I'm so patently married, um, obviously it's it's not a good thing. I don't know how to break it to my wife. I mean, she's sure we le did the legal thing, you know? So that was, that was one aspect that was somewhat surprising. Look, Google got a couple of things right. Don't, don't, really, I'm between age 35 and 64. Well, Quite a lot of people are, and I'm bald, so I guess, you know, you'd expect me to be between, be between 35 and 64. Um, it also claimed I liked what it calls American football and basketball, but I liked soccer and baseball even more. So it didn't seem to capture any of those things. And it did get to the point where it really was quite funny because Google insists that I'm really into cars. I'm not really into the blues. I l have the blues living inside of me because I'm Slavic, but honestly, I don't listen to the blues a lot at all. In fact, I don't listen to music much at all. Google seems to think I do, and I'm fascinated by music and rock music. As you can tell, I used to have long hair and headbang, but not quite so much anymore. So it, it's, it's kind of fascinating what it thinks and what it doesn't think. And there are advertisers, presumably, who are using this information to target me with ads that are completely and totally irrelevant. Yeah, it sounds like they really missed the mark here, Chris. Did they get anything right besides that huge age gap that, again, most of us or a lot of us fall in? Well, it noticed that I was male, um, which, which, which I was extremely flattered by. <laughs> um, on, in terms of the lists, there was, there was very little, relatively speaking, that I found that I could recognize myself in. For example, it, Google insists that I'm really into home improvement. And, and th that's just the f funniest thing you could ever imagine. I am utterly incompetent and disinterested. Those are two terrible things to, to have within you um, in home improvement. I'm, I'm, it, it's just not gonna happen. Yet Google insists it's one of my enthusiasm. It also insists that I'm into really into urban transport. Urban transport? Yeah, I got a car. But that, yeah, they, they missed the mark here. So you're getting ads for dating sites and cars, possibly Home Depot ads, things like that, uh, I would think, Chris. So where else do we see this going? You know, again, as you mentioned, Google, Facebook, now they're, they're uh, being more transparent. So what's next? The whole point of pages like this is to make you feel good. One thing that these tech companies have been very slow to appreciate is they actually are used by human beings and human beings tend to be motivated by whether they feel positively or negatively. So now Google and Facebook are under so much legal and governmental scrutiny, they're trying to be what they call more open. And so on this page, in a, in a perverse kind of way, I felt optimistic that it appears at least Google knows less about me than it, I would have thought it did and maybe it thinks it does. Um, but in terms of the future, I would have thought Google, I had 
letters, uh, emails rather, from readers who had similar experiences. And even one reader who had made up a completely fake human being and Google I identified that fake human being as male living in Texas and also into urban transport. So maybe we're all into urban transport, I don't know. Um, so in the future, I imagine they're going to try and provide more and more of this information to people as long as we can be bothered to go and look at it. Because it's ultimately, we're too busy, frankly, we're too lazy too often to even bother to think about these things because we're desperate to buy something online, to click on a story, an ad, or what have you. Um, but in, in the future, I imagine, there will simply be more information out there that these companies claim to have on us. So if someone does really want to go find out if Google has anything on them, whether it's accurate or not, or completely off base, like it's been with you, where do they go? Uh, there's a, the, the actual website, I think it's called, it's something like google.com slash something or other. I'm sorry, I don't actually have the site in front of me. Oh, that's okay. But it, it's, it's, it's in the story I wrote about it. Um, it it's that, so they go to that page and Google simply says this, according to your online activity, I suppose, is what they claim to know. So uh, it's actually kind of fun just to go there and, and take a look because you'll never know what Google thinks about you until you look. Quite interesting. And the things we learn about you too, Chris. So we um, know now. I'm single. This You're is my wedding ring. I'm single. single. <laughs> Your poor wife. And it sounds like it was a beautiful wedding too. <laughs> Tiny wedding. We did it very privately. It was wonderful. Oh, well, we'll stick with that. What does Google know? All right. Well, Chris, as always, we appreciate it so much. And uh, Chris's full article and the link to that site on Google where you can find out what Google does or doesn't know about you, it can all be found on ZDNet. Thanks for watching.